Hi, I'm Cole. This is my first ever video product review, and in it, I'm going to cover DJI's multifunctional backpack. The DJI multifunctional backpack is designed for the world's best selling series of drone the Phantom Series quadcopters. Now, this pack will fit the Phantom 1, Phantom 2, Phantom 3, Phantom 4, standard, professional, or advanced, and honestly, just about any other uh, quadcopter of similar size and dimension, as well as the accessories that come with it or that you need when you're out flying around or on a photo or video shoot. Um, it provides excellent protection. It's rugged, yeah. I'll cover the scratches here in a minute. It's rugged, it's compact for anything in its class, and honestly it's just a great value for something to protect your investment. Right now it, it retails for about $199. You can find it online or maybe at your local tech store for anywhere from $130 to $160 this time of year. I'm filming around the holiday season. And I picked up this pack on a pre-Black Friday special, so I got a pretty good deal on it. I'm really happy with it. Honestly, I can't think of a reason why I would exchange it or replace it anytime soon until I have a reason to carry more equipment and just need more room. So, let's check it out. Uh, this is basically a hard shell, well semi-hard shell, backpack that you can open up and configure to carry other items as well as being configured to carry your DJI Phantom drone. There are removable modules inside, a uh, number of padded compartments, exterior compartments as well. We've got a couple of great straps. These straps actually are not just sewn in or sewn on to the backpack itself here, but they're velcroed into this back piece so that they're nice and adjustable. I'm hoping you can see that well. The straps are nicely padded, very, very comfortable. And though you can't see it here because I have them tucked in, you get your hip belt as well with some nice padding there. There's also a little clip here you can use to clip various things, a uh, flashlight, your keys, whatever, to the straps themselves. A carry handle on top of the backpack when you don't feel like carrying it over your shoulders. Uh, the neat thing about this pack is it's actually well balanced, nicely put together, and very comfortable if you just want to sling it over one shoulder. You don't have to worry about that strap tearing off either. So I really love that about this backpack. I don't typically use the uh, waist strap, so I've tucked it back into the pad here. And honestly, it, it doesn't feel uncomfortable at all when I wear it even over both shoulders with that waist strap tucked in there. It, it takes about three seconds to fold it on in there, out of sight, doesn't get tangled on anything. I love it. Now let's go ahead and take a closer look at the shell. It's got these soft nylon kind of cordura sections here, back, or excuse me, bottom, top, and then both sides. And then this hard, harder ABS type uh, shell that goes over it. Now this shell is removable, and I'll show you how here in a second, or at least show you the hardware that it comes with to remove it. Basically, you can, you can take this off. As you notice, this one's scratched. And in a lot of videos that I've watched, folks that have reviewed this or have had comments to say about it, this is their number one gripe. The fact that when you lay this thing down and you open it up to pull your equipment out, you're going to get scratches on it. Unless you lay it down on a towel somewhere, I don't see how you're possibly going to avoid getting scratches on this shell. But it's super simple to take care of. You wipe the dirt off, no problem. If the scratches bother you, you do what a lot of guys do and pop it off. Hit it with a quick coat of spray paint and it looks like brand new. A lot of guys are actually popping this off and spraying it. Some kind of wild color. I've seen them airbrushed. I've seen them 
uh, with stickers across them and stuff. I'm actually going to probably pop this one off and, and shoot it with a brighter color just because I think it would look cool. Okay, let's dive on into the inside of this thing and see uh, what it will hold. The first openings are the side pockets here. We've got uh, some little pockets to put stuff. You can put probably power cords. You could, you could actually even put your props in there if you want to. Keep your documentation in here. This is something it comes with. In fact, this is tied to the straps when you purchase it. It's a little envelope with some screws in it. Now I'll show you what these screws are actually used for. All right, so I pulled out some propellers here. These are the uh, spare props that DJI sends with theirs. Now you can stuff them in there. They kind of barely fit or tuck them into this top pocket and they fit. Again, not a problem. I don't think you really have to worry about your propellers getting bent up if you put them into these pockets. They're probably going to stay nice and straight. I've got four props in here. You can put more along the sides if you want to. You're not going to have any problems with that. You're just not going to fit anything big in here. You're not going to fit a water bottle in here or anything of the sort. And honestly that's probably my biggest gripe about this pack is just its lack of um, external pockets. So the zippers are nice high quality zippers. Okay, now that we've covered the side pockets, let me show you one more compartment where you can put things. And that is along the right side here. We've got a zipper that opens up. You can easily store an iPhone, chargers, um, other cables and stuff like that back in here. And, then, and because of the padding and the way that this pack is built, you're not going to have any problem putting stuff in there as long as it's not a huge bulky item and losing any comfort here or, or taking up any room that's inside the pack itself. So, here's the test. 13 inch MacBook Pro, it's not going to fit in sideways, but no problem fitting a 13 inch MacBook Pro in there like that. Very happy with that. Not that I pack my MacBook with me all the time, but it's nice to know it'll go in there if I ever want to take it with me. Okay, let's dive inside the pack. I've already got it unzipped, but uh, basically you can see inside the part that's against the back here, you have a nice netted elastic pocket. You can put just about anything you want. There's the inside, again, the way that I keep it configured. You can swap some stuff around if you want to because, again, these are all completely just Velcroed in there. This centerpiece where your drone goes is not Velcroed in, which, honestly, with me, is fine because I would like to just be able to lift it right out whenever I want. These other pieces are secured by Velcro. This pouch here, secured by Velcro here. This one is secured by Velcro. This is a zipper pocket. And you can see I've got my charging cable and, uh, for the uh, RC unit and such in there. Now, under here, three section compartment that's also Velcroed in under that flap. This is a zipper that goes all the way around. You can take this lining out if you want to, or just unzip it to access these screws. Now there are four screws in here. Remember when I showed you that black envelope that comes with this earlier in the video? These four screws can be removed. Those screws in the black envelope are replacements or spares for these. Four screws screw into this plastic ABS shell or frame that's inside the pack and hold your ABS shell on the exterior of the pack. That's how you take it off if you decide you want to A, replace it, or B, shoot it with a little bit of paint. So, zipping that back up, I'm going to go ahead and configure this back to the way that I normally have it. Now that we've got everything put back in, let's go ahead and see how we can pack this thing up with uh, equipment. Obviously, this is designed for any quadcopter that has the, the same uh, dimensions or size 
as the Phantom, or it will fit one of those anyway, though the Phantom is what it's designed for originally. So the Phantom fits in there nice like this. I'll show you, it's got these little tabs that open up like this with the Velcro, and I'm sure what they intend is that you can set the drone down inside and Velcro the legs down in there. So it's held thusly. See, it's not going to fall out that way if you happen to open this up at some kind of weird angle. This will just set in there and not flop out. It's, it's going to be Velcroed in by the landing gear, the landing skids. Now there's a strap that can go over the top too. Cinch that down. This sucker isn't going anywhere. Okay, we'll take that out and I'll show you how I put mine in. This is one of the biggest complaints too, aside from how the shell on the exterior gets scratched. Guys don't like how this drone fits in here like this and sits up, can you see that? Sits up above the edge here. You can still zip it up with no problems whatsoever. So if you like it that way, put it in that way. Personally, I'll show you how I put mine in. I set my drone in there just like this. This is a Phantom 3 standard for whoever's not familiar with which model this is. So I just set mine in there like that, okay? Now, I can put my strap over the top of it like this and it doesn't come down on top of my camera and the gimbal. Okay, now that's in there solid. Quite often I'll put a hat in there because I don't know if it's going to get windy while I'm shooting, that sort of thing. I'll put like a nip cap or whatever in there, scully kind of thing. That'll pad this a little bit and I feel better about my gimbal being padded than just dangling free. You can put your batteries in the battery compartment. There's room for three batteries right there. This goes down on top, keeps them in there nice and snug. Word of caution, I would not recommend storing these in the, the backpack for more than just a few days. If you're not going to be flying for 8 to 10 days, take these batteries out. The reason why is the DJI smart batteries or intelligent batteries are designed to discharge after a certain number of days, which is programmed typically through the DJI Go app. These are set for 10 days to discharge. When they discharge, they get warm. You don't want a battery getting warm and discharging inside here with your equipment and all that sort of thing. So if you're not going to be flying for a few days, take these on out of your pack. This is just the uh, smartphone holder, the iPhone holder for the RC controller. That all fits in there nice and snug. No problem at all. Okay, so now I'm going to put my controller in here and it will fit either way. You can, you can put it any dang way you want to have it in there. Zip that across. I don't take my, my intelligent flight battery charger, the AC charger, out on a flight with me because I usually come back here to charge everything up. But just to show you that everything will fit in here without any problems whatsoever. I'm going to put that there. So you can stuff other things down in here. You can get a few things down in these areas here. You got a filter kit, put it in the in the net bag. You can set it up or uh, slide it in the, against the sides here. Zip it up. There you go. So that's it for my review on the DJI multifunctional backpack designed for the Phantom Series drone. I hope you've liked it and have found some helpful information. If so, please give it a thumbs up because that is very helpful. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel because there's more goodness where this came from. So until next time, take care.